Libra, welcome to your reading. My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Libra, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading while we pull a final message from your spirit guides, tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, very magnetic energy here. Right now, you got the Queen and King of Cups. And this right here lets you know that anything you touch is going about to turn into gold. And more importantly, you got to remember, like, action from the path of least resistance is what to follow. Action from the path of least resistance. This right here, if something feels efforted, you're being told to let go of this energy. It's supposed to be effortless. Not easy or hard, but effortless, right? Action from the path. So what does this really mean? I'll give an example. Like I used to have different businesses. I had a dog grooming business, a dog daycare, a coffee shop. And th these businesses were great and all. They paid the bills, but I wasn't inspired. I wouldn't wake up in the morning like, yay, I get to go do something I love. I was more like, oh man, I gotta go to work, right? Sound familiar? We've all been there. So what I do, I asked my angels and guides for help. I said, angels and guides, I expect, I assume, I command inspired action to be able to do something I love. Potentially passive income, I love you. I ask them by commanding it, not by wishing and hoping, right? Law of attraction. Therefore, they answer. Now, what do I have? I day trade. I love looking at charts. Nothing makes me happier, right? When I go there and I set my stop loss and my take profit, oh my goodness, I love it. I would do it for free, right? I am doing something effortless. Or what else on my YouTube channels? I love connecting with my angels and guides. This is the most fun thing in the world. I love doing it effortless, right? And right now, that's what, what's going to happen for you. You're going to get some inspired action and you're being told to pick the path of least resistance. This is so important. Now, it's essential because I do see here a money block. The fact they got the five of pentacles here and the devil lets me know that there is some sort of money block here and you got to clear this energy. So if you're having a hard time attracting wealth into your life, it's because of this money block. This is so, so important. I remember money is on the path of inspiration. I repeat, money is on the path of inspiration. You got to feel inspired. Motivation is not enough. Like just to feel motivated to do something is like 20%. But when you are inspired to do something, that's when things happen, right? And inspiration really means feeling what you're looking for as if it's happened, not as if when it happens, right? As if it's happened. So for example, when I wanted to be a day trader, I felt, wow, imagine I'm making $10 million a year. It's so good. I don't have to worry about nothing. All I do is look at charts. I work for two hours a day because I stopped day trading after like 1130 in New York Open. And I was like, wow, I just work for two hours a day. I only trade on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, dropping game here. So basically, I felt the event before it happened. And right now, to help you clear this energy, I want you to write this down in the comment section. Write this affirmation down and clear any sort of money block that you have. Write down, money is drawn to me. Quantum entangle with this energy. Write this down in the comment section. Money is drawn to me. Clear this money block and let abundance enter your life. Money is drawn to me. Now, inspired action is coming your way, and this is a beautiful vibration, and you are being told right now, remember, like your vortex holds the path of prosperity. Your vortex holds the path of prosperity. Your vortex holds the path of prosperity. I cannot express this enough. Your vortex is your feeling. Why is that important? Because how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. This is essential. It makes you more approachable. It makes you more, you know, uh, um, attractive. It, it makes you more magnetic, right? If you, this, that's the scientific way. But when you look at it from the, the energy of the universe, it makes you more lucky and more fortunate, more vibrationally uh, aligned. What does this really mean? Your like One trick that I love to use is I envision my vortex as a golden ball of light. So how I feel to make it easier for myself to identify it, because we identify things with images, is I envision a golden ball of light. So when you look at me, imagine I have a shield around me and it's this beautiful golden ball of light. And every time I get happier, it gets more bright, more yellow, and just shines. And anytime I feel judgment or comparison or limiting beliefs, for example, it starts dimming. So anytime I'm walking around and I feel like, uh-oh, 
why is my vortex so dimmed? I'm like, oh, I'm having negative thoughts. What do I do? Change my thoughts. I think of something I love. I think of my wiener dog. Oh, she's so funny. She's so crazy. It gets brighter. And I want to make sure that that flame is bright. So when I'm, when I'm in the grocery store, the flame is shining. When I'm at the coffee shop, that flame is shining. So therefore, I'm approachable. Therefore, people want to come talk to me. I'm more magnetic. I network. I meet people, right? Same thing at work. When you are shining at work, guess who's getting the promotion? You, right? Now look at this, you got the two of cups and you also have the six of cups and this is a beautiful energy. There is a bond being formed between you and someone else. And right now you gotta understand the flow of prosperity is unlimited. The flow of abundance is unlimited. Your bond between you and this person is going to open up the floodgates of prosperity, of abundance. You and this person, when you connect, you are going to be so magnetically charged together, so in alignment that when the collective gets together, wow, everything is times two. For example, like imagine if you have a, a, we have someone to lean on. Now the foundation is much, much stronger, right? Like for example, you have two feet. Imagine you're just hobbling on one foot. And that's the energy I feel from you. I feel a very strong magnetic energy being formed between you and someone that is going to make things a whole lot easier. And the flow of prosperity and abundance is going to get a lot easier for you. Now you got the six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and talk about abundance. Right now you're being told money flows to you depending on the energy you flow onto others, right? So the money that's flowing to you right now depends on the energy that you're flowing onto others. Everything is a dance, right? It's almost like a tango, right? Right now you gotta understand, like imagine like talking to someone and you're like, you're so beautiful. And they're like, you're so beautiful. And you're like, I love your hair. And they're like, I love your smile. You see how like, it's just this energy that accumulates. Now, the same thing happens when you're giving energy onto others, right? The money that flows to you depends on the energy you flow onto others. So when you're kind to someone, when you give someone a compliment, when you hold the door open for someone, when you give your shoulder to cry on, when you lend an ear, share your experience, any one of these things, it's like throwing a boomerang out there. And then the boomerang comes back, the energy, energetic boomerang, I call it. The energy, excuse me, comes back. And right now, that's the energy that you're being told right now. The money that you are waiting the, the, in order to clear the money block, which we just did, money is drawn to me, write that down in the comment section. But on top of that, the money that flows to you depends on the energy you flow to others. So right now, any chance you get, give a compliment to someone. I do that just for fun. And I do that not to raise, not only to raise their vibration, but because I know karma. <laughs> I know if I say, hey, you know, you're buying some ranch today. That's a great sauce. I don't even eat ranch. I don't even care. But I tell them, wow, that's a delicious delicious sauce. Ah, kudos to you. Have fun. You know, it makes some old guy happy. It makes some young gal happy. Whatever. Not young gal, old gal, old gal, grandmas. But you know what I'm saying? Like, just throw it out there, man. Just have some fun with it. It's just like, I don't even like certain colors. And I'm like, wow, that's my favorite color. Just because I want to raise their vibration. I want to make them feel good. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, the more you make people feel good, the more service you provide, you can expect tenfold for that to come back. And just do it in a genuine way, right? Just be have fun with it. They get the two of wands and three of wands. That's a synchronicity. Anytime you see two matching uh, uh, numbers next to each other, this is letting you know that right now, get out of your comfort zone and progress will be made. And right now, yeah, remember, like you are joy looking for a way to express, right? It's so important. I cannot have this express this enough. You are joy looking for a way to express. If you strip away all the limiting beliefs and doubts, you have your inner child. Your inner child's like a five-year-old girl or five-year-old boy that just wants to have fun. It just wants to experience stuff. It wants excitement. It doesn't want to do anything serious. That is who you truly are. So right now, you are joy waiting to express. Remember that. It is, there's nothing wrong with being excited. Matter of fact, it's the quickest way to a high vibration. The only thing that's wrong in life is being serious. When you are serious, it is the quickest way to a low vibration. I don't even like saying the word serious. Serious, Ugh. right? Right. And then look at the word joy. Joy, abundance, happiness, peace, love, unity, passion, compassion. Made you feel good. Now look at this. Hate, jealousy, envy, serious. Ooh, you don't want nothing to do with that, right? Exactly, because everything has a vibration, right? So right now, let joy be your guide. All right, so final message from your spirit guides using your animal spirit. Right now, your animal spirit is armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries, right? What are these healthy boundaries? This really means watch 
the self-talk. I cannot express this enough. Watch how you speak to yourself. I have a rule that if I wouldn't say it to someone else, I wouldn't say it to myself. So if I wouldn't be like, oh, you're so stupid. Why'd you do this? Oh my goodness. Why am I saying that to myself? Why am I like, oh, Vince, you should have known better. You should have been a psychic. Oh my goodness. How did you make that mistake? Wow. Look what it did now. What the heck is that? Would you possibly ever say that to someone else? You'd be like, hey, listen, man, things happen. Don't worry. It's no big deal. We'll figure this out. That's how you speak to someone else. So why am I being hard on myself? right? You think about that. Us empaths, we always tend to do that. We people please, but we're hard on ourselves. Don't be hard on yourself. Watch the limiting self love. That's why I'm like, write down, money is drawn to me. Positive affirmations. Let the universe know you're ready. Let the abundance flow to you. All right, Libra, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.